Hi, I'm Barry Whistler, and I want to talk to you today about one of the most important values that we at Harvestnet International hold to, and that is that of team ministry. We know that we are better together, so we choose to not live or work alone. We see God himself modeling teamwork for us in the Trinity. So everything we do, we do in teams. We believe ministry is done best by teams, and in the local church, all we do is done in teams. We even lead in teams, not alone. In the Bible, elders, pastors, deacons, apostles all function together in a plurality in teams. At HarvestNet, we also value the ministry gifts given to us in Ephesians 4. It says he gave some as apostles, some as prophets, some as evangelists, and some as pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of service to the building up of the body until we all attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to a mature man, to the measure of the stature which belongs to the fullness of Christ. These five were given until, it says, until we reach the unity and mature stature. This has not happened yet, and God gave us five, and so we need five for health and growth and to complete our mission on the earth. But the church, sadly, has settled mostly for twofold ministry. Instead of fivefold, we have pastors and teachers, a few evangelists, but the church cannot mature on a twofold ministry, or even on with three, uh, with the evangelist added. In our day, we are seeing the restoration of the foundational gifts of apostle and prophet. This, I believe, is in the preparation for the final days of kingdom advance and harvest. We need all five working together as a team to fulfill the Great Commission. Apostles are custodians of mission and DNA of the church. They are fathers to the church, and they're tasked with the overall vigor and extension of the kingdom. They are pioneers. They start movements. They are architects or entrepreneurs. Prophets are heart revealers. They bring the word of God to us. They are the conscience of the church called to maintain our faithfulness to God. They help us come into the presence of God, and they're visionaries. Evangelists are our recruiters to the kingdom. Naturally infectious people, evangelists are gifted communicators. They enthuse and train others to evangelize. Pastors, they're our shepherds. They're called to nurture and maintain our health. They are caregivers who create community and bring healing to others. They focus on the protection and maturity of the flock and they're soul healers. Teachers understand and explain scriptures. They shed light on scriptures They are thinkers who can train others and inspire learning. I believe God gave us all five of these because we need all five, but we also need them together. Their effectiveness is increased when they work as a team as God intended. Each play a part in God's purposes. A second type of teamwork that HarvestNet is committed to is regional teamwork. Wherever we have partners, we encourage them to connect with other churches and ministries. To see a region or a nation discipled and transformed requires the body of Christ there to work together and not compete. We recognize that H&I is only a small segment of all that God's doing on the earth. We are firmly committed to partnership and collaboration with all those that God raises up to fulfill the Great Commission. Thirdly, we always keep the generations connected in what we call multi-generational teamwork. 1 John 2.12 talks about three generations of believers, fathers, mothers, young men and women, and children. H&I recognizes and values these seasons of life in our spiritual journey and believes that God intends for all three generations to work together in teamwork. HarvestNet values the wisdom of those who've been spiritual fathers and mothers. We also value the creativity and energy and zeal of our young men and women. We recognize the need to perpetuate the things God has taught and seeks to birth, train, and equip spiritual children. So we seek to do as Paul told Timothy, to entrust what we have learned to faithful men who will in turn impact others. That's four generations, Paul to Timothy, Timothy to faithful men, and then those to others. In fact, we will lean towards honoring the emerging generation of leaders so that our churches are welcoming to their generation. We want to identify and train and release young leaders. Instead of criticizing them, we want to set them up for success so they go beyond us. We will see a whole new teamwork and collaboration in coming days that I believe will bring exponential increase in effectiveness. 
which I mean by that the global harvest. That's why we work together.